swim next to? I'm gonna swim in the lane right next to Sam Long and the same send off time. And I'm gonna just make sure that for every interval, I'm just a little bit ahead of him. Just a little bit. Just so he knows that I'll be just a little bit ahead of him in the water, a little bit ahead of him on the bike, and then I'll crush him on the run. Hours later. Oh, hey Chelsea. Oh, Everyone's waiting uh, on your dive. If you're not sure, this is we have a new one as Heather. Alright, on the top. 20 20 plus yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, yeah. 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 so you need to just swim Hey, this is just warming up, so Why haven't you got in yet? No, because it's I need to get ready in my mind. This is what Lionel taught me. Get the mind ready. Why are you wearing the wetsuit today? Uh, I got a race coming up in a few days. You gotta go ride it for it. Might be a wetsuit. Haven't seen, haven't swim in a wetsuit since Daytona, so. Is it good to usually test them out before? Yeah, got the arms a little bit more sore than regular swimming, but yeah. You know, so, somewhere between that first block you just did and the second block, somewhere in there, just kind of settling. Um, that's. That would be my preference for it. Uh All right, coach, where's Sam? Where is Sam? That is the million dollar question. Text me, promised me he would be uh, stoked to be here, he said. My uh, training partner didn't come today. Sure he was coming, he's ducking out. I'm here. Huh? Yeah. What are you hoping to it's get the only reason I came this morning. Does it get a little bit of Sam Long? Yeah. I would have came at 10. Oh well. Is he going to show up on race day? I don't seem like it. I don't know. Guy's ducking. Yep, here we are. It's the Yo 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 Big Unit on Pro Tri News, bringing in all the hot facts, all the hot takes, all the smack talk. Let's do it, baby. Probably had somebody on the outside to give it in, but like, <laughs> that's helpful now. <laughs> Big Unit, how you feeling? Feeling good, carving up. I gotta take down a monster this weekend. Which one? Myself. You, uh, who's, who are you looking at on the start list? You concerned about anyone? Mm. Joe Skipper. You know, he can swim, he can bike, he can run. What's Joe been up to the last couple months? He's been in Dubai, I mean, yeah, riding the flats. I mean, he cramped up doing 350 watts on um, whatever challenge Dubai. Um, so we know he can't hold 350, which I know me and Lionel can. So that's going to be an issue for him. What, you, what, was, what was on tap for today? Easy day, man. Nine miles. I ghosted Lionel in the swim. Made him worry about me. And then 
I did uh, two rounds of six times 50 on 40 seconds in the pool, and then three times 200 on 220. And then I took a nap and have been hanging out with you losers. <laughs> Just a nice easy spin, no uh, overtraining for me this week, a nice taper, getting the legs ready, getting the legs dialed for, for a big battle this weekend. Enjoy. On the road bike today. Dad, I'm not even gonna ride. I'm done over training. I'm resting to take down Lionel this weekend. See you guys. Yeah, probably, they probably work. I mean, you gotta have fluid around here. <laughs> All right, so the, uh, the taper onto a Sunday race is a little more, I don't know, involved. Miami was pretty easy, it was a Friday race, so usually I take Sundays off. I usually train Monday to Saturday, take Sunday off, and then repeat. That's my like week-long block. So doing a Friday race is quite easy because you take Sunday off, and then you just do kind of like four days of light training, maybe a little activation in there, and by that point you're ready to race, you're rested, do the race on a Friday. On Sunday, on the other hand, it gets a little more complicated because I think you can actually, well, you can do both sides. You can train too much because you have six full days, your normal training schedule, or you can train too little and come in feeling quite flat. So you've got to, you've got to figure out what to do. So uh, for me, I'll take my normal Sunday off. Then Monday, I'll do just active recovery. Then Tuesday, I'll do a bike workout with just like, you know, very, very easy. Don't even look at the power meter, just pickups, kind of what I feel like the race is going to feel like. And then that brings us to today, uh, Wednesday, where I will do same thing on the run. I'm gonna do about three by a K, kind of right in and around what I feel that the off the bike running is gonna feel like. Then usually I'll travel, so I'm traveling tomorrow, Thursday. Then Friday, just active recovery, maybe 30 minutes on the bike, 5K of running. And same on Saturday, just a 20 minute little, make sure the bike's <clears throat> in working order. Little 5K jog. And then hopefully uh, that'll leave you feeling greatly rested and also not flat. And that's kind of how I handle the taper. So today, three by a K. Good job, line right there. Four, three oh five, three oh six. Smooth. <sighs> that's it. Next time. We feel that intensity will be the right. <laughs> 